everybody. Today is our Hair Hero success story. Um, what we're doing with these videos is we're bringing in people that have actually worked with me um, as far as in the business of Salon New Dimension Extensions and for the charity superheroes and for our fellow licensed hair professionals to be listed on the community directory. So today we're going to be talking with Rita Macias and she's just going to kind of introduce herself a little bit and then we'll go through and ask some questions. So yeah, um, I have been a hairstylist for the past 17, almost 18 years and I recently became, you know, a stay at home mom for a little bit. Um, but I met TK, gosh, I think it was in 2007. Um, Not long. As, yeah, as I was looking to um, get some hair extensions and I went online to find who was the best and um, I got directed to TK. It also turned out that we started working together because I was interested in um, learning hair extensions through uh, when you color and you know the basic hair stuff. So um, <laughs> she was going to teach me hair extensions and I was going to be her colorist. So it was as well as take care of health from the inside out. Um, I forgot to mention that I do have an autoimmune disease, lupus. I've had lupus since 2005. So it kind of went hand in hand that I met TK in 2007 because um, I was in desperate need of more than just hair extensions, <laughs> clearly. So um, we became kind of a dynamic duo in, that, in all departments, not just color and hair and making people fabulous and beautiful, but just quality and um, just knowledge of health in general, inside and out for your hair, what you eat, what goes on it, how, how you live your daily life, um, basically everything. So... That's how so, I <laughs> to kind of backtrack a little bit for my viewers, because you guys know about my petition. Um, I actually started a petition against our governor um, when they deregulated our license. So when Rita was mentioning that she was referred to me, what, what's been <laughs> happening in our community is we have all these people doing extensions, don't have a license. So for years and years and years, we've been trying to advocate to consumers because Rita has lupus, which is autoimmune. It's also a metabolic disease. I had cancer, which is also autoimmune metabolic disease. Um, but we'll get into this a little bit later, but Rita and I deal with a lot of hair loss people because my specific salon is wellness-based models. So everything that we do is organic, holistic, healthcare um, from the get-go, um, 35 years of doing this. But when she mentioned that, the whole point of our advocacy and why I'm doing these videos now is because of the licensed professionals, because our career actually has been jeopardized, jeopardized because of this new bill they passed. Um, and when that bill was passed, I decided I was gonna start public speaking and I started a charity called Superheroes. So I would like you, Rita, because um, Rita actually come on board and got hair through my salon and then we became best friends. And then she started working for me because like I said, we're really focused more on hair restoration and we use extensions to grow people's hair out with my patent. So we started a charity called Superheroes and I want to have her kind of talk about that because I'll pan in some pictures where she's actually helped and, you know, kind of tell the viewers how Superheroes kind of has changed your mindset from just being able to participate in some of the events that we did and what you learned from the charity working with us and how you can maybe cover that a little bit about people to um, um, take well, it away. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much going on. But yeah, no, um, you know, it's more than just, just glam because when people have autoimmune issues and, you know, any kind of health that takes over, you know, your, with your hair, hair loss in general, it, it does something emotional to you too, where you feel less, you know, less of a person, less be able to go out and just conquer the world. And so since both of us were follically challenged at some point during our health, um, I know exactly what that felt like. Even, I mean, that happens to me a lot with lupus, lose hair, grow hair, get wigs, pieces, whatever you can find. Right. Um, and a lot of people can't afford those things. They're very, very, very expensive. So a lot of women and young kids and all ages, they, they don't know what to do or where to turn. And then they end up getting, you know, scammed down the road by buying these very expensive things they can't afford that don't help their hair because nobody right. teaches them. It's more than just that. Um, these charities help raise money and awareness 
for um, us to be able to provide those whatever it takes for them, whether it be wigs, um, a clip-on, full-on extensions, whatever somebody needs to get them through, to get them feeling better. Because when you have health issues, chronic illnesses, everything else, that's not in your control anymore. But hair and how we look, we can slowly control that with you know different things. So it makes us feel better about ourselves and better to conquer the world. So superheroes, you know, everybody likes superheroes. They're always saving the world. So we're, you know, rounding everyone up and saving people, you know, through hair and health. And that uh, makes us feel good. I know I've been to a couple of TK's events and we get to run around looking like, you know, I was Catwoman one time and she's, you know, Wonder Woman and we're just all empowering each other. And, right. you know, we can, we can put on our, our stuff and, and go out there. But, um, you know, people sometimes there's big big known charities where everybody knows where that money is going to and then they see our little charity like well, what is this you guys are just a bunch of you know halloween people running <laughs> around with your hair pieces but it's not that it's it's love it's compassion it's it's a lot of knowledge empowerment people would just take the time to really understand what our charity is and what it does it's an amazing thing so and I appreciate you covering that. So I want to also explain to some of the viewers because now I'm starting my, um, my, my online training and my mentorships and just kind of, if you can go over with the viewers a little bit, you know, with taking my classes and I tell people this, like I have 35 years of experience and it's a lot around wellness, you know, with my whole prior background and the Ted talk and the book and people ask me, well, what am I teaching you? And I'm like, <laughs> So I guess if you can just kind of go, I mean, you were really different because you came on board and worked with me. And also I want to sell to the viewers because I'm all about the community. I will help anybody that has a license. So Rita had worked for another salon while she was also working at my salon. And actually her salon owner also had some implants. So that's a whole nother issue because I have an <laughs> advocacy for that. But when Rita was working at her other salon, you know, that's set up different. That's more like chair by chair. Do you want to explain a little bit when you kind of came on board and why the system, you know, New Dimension Extensions is our salon, but explain why the system here in the brand and what we do is different, the things that you learn, because you learned more than extensions. We have a laser, we have infrared therapy, our yeah. plant -based, you know, I'm a kook about the stuff behind me. There's all yeah, I mean supplements. Right. I know a lot of, it was mostly like beyond just putting the hair in and taking fabulous pictures. Um, I mean, you know, she has the best hair anywhere all over the world. I can vouch for that a hundred times over. Um, but it's, it's how then, you know, you take care of the integrity of the person's hair and just everything we do comes out in our hair. So she would teach you and teach me as if we're teaching and showing other people um, about how beyond hair extensions because we don't want people to wear extensions their whole entire life it's it's taking right. care of your well-being so your hair can have a chance to produce growth and strength on its own and then, and then if you want to add hair for flair or an extra color that's that's different but from from the color to the shampoos conditioners every single hot tool you can imagine everything it's we're teaching somebody step by step about how to improve the health you know, of their hair, the stress of their, the stress within them, hence the infrared box, the cell renewal, and just any, you know, vitamins and all, all of the supplements and, and diet even. So that was, and a, lot, was and, a, and a lot of people try and um, ask a lot of questions like that, because, you know, what we're talking about is getting you on the directory. So for the viewers, I started a community salon directory called Extension Hair Salons to list professionals that I've mentored to be on the directory and you know get leads from my directory we also have another directory called medically challenge and that's for our medical naturopaths because i kind of went more naturopath wellness mm -hmm. um do you want to kind of explain to them because we didn't talk about this but when you first came to me you had a lot of hair loss and i think oh yeah i hope the pictures that i can pan through because we actually restored your hair and i don't even know if it took us two years and then i remember i got sick because mm -hmm. i think that's when i had cancer and my kidneys tapped out and yeah. I don't want to go on a tangent because even the viewers you guys wouldn't believe this Rita and I have worked through 
<laughs> I think I had a stroke that day or something. Oh, yeah. I mean, her, not, her, her and I have worked through everything, tapping out, kidney failure, cancer. We kept going because we wanted to help our customers because they were all hair loss, right? But when you first came to me, I can't remember. We did a couple different methods on you, and that's what I'm trying to explain. So when people come to me with hair loss, because, you know, if you have thick hair, well, anyone does thick hair. I used to be a Baywatch lady. Do you know what I mean? It's harder to get with the people that have hair loss. So yeah, I think we started doing, did we start with wefts with you? Or we did a couple methods with I think we did um, a few wefts and then a couple strands of individuals on the side and then right. maybe even you know, um, a, a special, you know, the glue in at some point the right to, you know, where, where there was really clearly nothing. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we figured out what method worked and how my hair would respond and it started growing like, like crazy. I didn't even look at that in like almost two years because, and I have to explain to the viewers, look, everyone can put hair extensions in and that's, I'm not, Obviously, that's what I teach, but we're also talking about the color because my color is plant-based, mm -hmm. we're very anal, we do color after extensions, and for two years, your hair was like, bang, perfect, and mm -hmm. then you went one place. Yeah, because we were because we kind were of out of touch with our, our sickness and, and, you know, everything else, so I had to go. <laughs> I had to go somewhere else, so. And I forget, know. but it all, what I'm trying to explain is it only took about four weeks to where you started having damage from going somewhere else because the system wasn't followed as far yes. as the placement and the way that yeah. was, that's what no, I wanted to say. Well, the takeout alone, it basically damn near ripped my hair out. So that was scary. The color was obviously, my hair was not, whatever mineral or anything while I was in there was not responding, the toner. <laughs> fried my hair. I mean, by the time I saw TK again, it was like, what has somebody done to my masterpiece? It was, it was bad. So here we were again, restoring my hair and I learned my lesson and now I'll just go without anything at all versus trying to go to somebody who doesn't care. They just right. clamp it in and bye. <laughs> so yeah. And I think that you wrote that testimony and we'll try and pan that in too but like mm -hmm. again the whole point of these stories because you know a lot of my superhero success stories are about us breast cancer breast implant people that have done like this radical transformation but we're trying to talk about hair restoration right now because so many people don't understand that even you know with our strands and why this is called follically challenged because we're trying to get to the root issue of disease so when Reed and I have talked before you know lupus autoimmune metabolic disease cancer autoimmune metabolic disease now I'm pretty hardcore and even when she worked with me I would like no soda no this no that oh yeah <laughs> I tried to come in with my can of whatever uh, yeah. right. you dumped it down the sink <laughs> <laughs> Because like, you know, people ask me like the whole entire existence of my 35 years, I practice what I preach. That's what I'm saying. And even in my hair, this is pretty much all my hair now. It's just, you know, I put for thickness, right? Because of the things that we use and the systems that we implement. So if you were going to give, give a stylist, because I guess this is more about, you know, teaching, if you were going to reach out to some stylists out there, what could you give them as far as mentoring with me? Because I don't like to say the word class. And I say this over and over again, I'm 53. I've been doing this for three decades. I've tried to teach people in two days. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But people ask me about classes and I'm saying, can you, what insight can you give to somebody if they're wanting to learn and become their own brand and actually restore hair because doing just extensions isn't that's not all that I do yeah I mean like anybody can learn a method of putting something in or taking something out you know even probably people that have never done it in their life but it's about the follow-through and if what that person's hair can maintain and what what's going on in their daily life it's the consultation alone your consultations were like at least 20 30 minutes versus you know oh what bundle do you want it's this 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 you know and right um a lot of people don't take the time for that but again that's why you're you know private studio and you have compassion and care about the integrity i've took on that you know when i did hair after i moved you know with consultations and just it's like when people go on a diet and they're like oh it's not a diet it's a way of life well so is hair you know it, it's right. it's everything you do everything you put in it products, color, you know, what you're doing before, after, during. This is 
my hair is thick now. I don't have any hair extensions in. All my sides grew back, you yeah. know, everything. Even with the stress of a, a new baby and all that, it's still, it's still good. I don't have to feel like, oh, I need my hair. I need my hair extensions, you know, so. And that's what I try and explain to people. And that's even what we posted yesterday. It's like, you know, I have a patent for this to be able to grow hair out, but it's not, mm -hmm. it's not going to happen in like six weeks. Sometimes mm -hmm. it can take two years. It depends. And I tell people, if you don't follow the whole program with the protocol of the way I talk about nutrition, metabolic function, it takes a little longer, but using the other things that we have, you know, even with our shampoos and stuff, because yep. people keep trying to come out with new shit. I'm like, there's only three ways to really make hair color, right? So if we start using things that are less ammonia and less oxidative we know that we're going to repair and we're going to add more shine and more health to that scalp as a long-term right. repair situation you know um what else do you want to tell the viewers as far as any type of insight because now after this book gets released i'm trying to really go full forward with the charity and i would love to have more people come on board um, so is there anything that you could say to anybody watching the perks, I guess is what I'm trying to say to become involved with everything that's going on right now in the community? Um, I mean, for one, just, I think anybody with a heart likes to see somebody smile and feel, you know, as women alone, a hair, hair, most hairstylists like when their clients are, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then they want to take all these pictures of themselves and everybody's what do you what do you do different and you can see their confidence go like a different like a transformation right. so we love that i know i love that in any in charities and you know i even used to do relay for life and it was so cool when when tk's you know superheroes it, it almost like ties in together wait didn't we do oh that's right i just forgot so rita and i also did the look good feel good found it yes <laughs> I can't say it on TV right now, mm -hmm. but something happened. I'm going to say it anyways. Rita and I were facilitators for the Look Good, Feel Good Foundation, okay? And I think we were sick the last time. Something happened and her and I were sick and we couldn't get there. Long story short, Rita and I were facilitators for the Look Good, Feel Good Foundation. And her and I did that for about four years and she did Relay for Life. Mm -hmm. And I kept saying to her, you know what? This charity isn't, do it's not we're not changing lives. And she's like, what do you mean? We're not changing lives. I go, I go, this Mary Kay stuff and all these products in the bag. And you know, like, uh, whatever, whatever certain vendors would, would donate to put up for us to teach the girls how to look good and feel good. But we want people to become that, not perfect. just cover it up. So um, again, with our charity and, you know, getting people on the right track and feeling instantly better but then keeping them better and, and you know mentoring them and helping them with you know nutrition and just ways of life um, beyond hair right and that's so. what i keep telling people because actually you know we talk about aloe a lot which is the plant behind me my shirt has an aloe plant it's not marijuana yet it's an aloe plant. <laughs> my car is an aloe plant i've been doing this for 35 years because i actually went to the veda institute so that's where i started all about plants but when I was getting back to the charity, and I don't diss any charities, because her and I work for Ironwood Cancer Center, we're vendors there, we've been doing this for decades, and I said, hey, at this next breakfast thing, maybe we can start talking more about health and wellness, because that's what we're talking about, and the lady's asking, well, aren't you guys hair people, and I'm like, yeah, but don't you know it's getting to the root issue? I'm follically challenged, and if I didn't actually eat the right foods, it's harder for the hair to repair. Point of the story is, like, our charity is really about hair, health, hope, and education that's mm -hmm. what we're about and super heroes hair rose <laughs> from hair right follically challenged and all of that stuff um what else because we could probably go on forever so now you're you're obviously not doing hair for like the last couple of years because you had a baby yes so your hair looks wonderful today and don't even say it on video it's Thank super you. ashy <laughs> No, you did not do it yourself because I'll have to block that out in the video. Since we're in quarantine, we can we have to. We have to do quarantine, huh? I can only see this part. <laughs> quarantine hair, <laughs> but we're professionals and we have all the professional stuff. So there. Well, that's what we were talking about yesterday. Is, is people are we're going crazy, and I actually been shaving Michi, so you know I forgot about that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Rita knows we have a certified therapy animal. Her name's Michi. She'll be panned in this clip. Um, and I was cutting her yesterday, trying to shave her and cut grass because I'm going crazy. It's like, ah, but your hair looks fantastic. Thank you. So I def So is there anything you want to say at the end of the video to encourage anyone out there that's follically challenged or yeah, um, a mean superhero? It's not just, there is hope. It can be long-term hope. It can be repaired. I've gone from no hair to looking like a man that lost just the hair on top and had a few scraggles, frog fur is what I used to call it. And I used to be really mad and really embarrassed and lived in my clip and extensions, which again then caused more baldness, like looking like alopecia, but there is, there is hope. And I got, you know, educated beyond the cover up and what can I do to fix it now? You know, we were, you know, helping repair, you know, what I looked like, but I saw the effects long term of how I could keep it that way because I never thought in a million years that I'd be without any kind of hair extensions. And I remember when I first met TK, I'd be like, no, no way. I'm going to wear these for life. And, and that's all there's to it. And she said, no, you're not. You, you won't. You're not going to need those unless you're going to a party or a special. And I'm like, no, I'm never taking them out. And here I am. Not, nothing. <laughs> I know, and it's so ashy. I'm like, I need that hair right now. Look at it. So like that. So I think for my advice for other stylists or just people in general is be patient. Um, listen, you don't always know everything. I mean, I had done hair already for like 10 years when I met TK. So I was already, I had a clientele. I was already going to color education classes and doing bridal parties you know, um, back in the day, learning hair extensions during beauty school was not a thing. Only movie stars got them. So then, you know, and then I only thought it was just the serious, the glue in or whatever. And TK showed me the natural way without any adhesive, without anything that's going to harm and damage your hair. So that was another wow for me. And um, obviously the whole world's jumping on board with organic and natural, you know, it's trendy now. Um, so just listen to what she has to say. Obviously, she's been here for a long time. Her hair is not going anywhere. Um, it's the best you can find. Her color never fades. Still the best you can find. So whatever anybody else tells you in their chair, that's that's them. But in my heart, and how, since 2000, it's in okay. Florida. I, we forgot to, so viewers. Yeah, I moved to South Florida, and now I'm in Central Florida. Florida. And I'm in Arizona. So yeah. people can fly here. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, just she she knows what she's talking about. Her products are true and trustworthy. Um, it's not a gimmick. It never was. I mean, she's been teaching people on having the organic supplements and the organic shampoos long before it was a super trend and a craze. So, um, yeah. yes, please take her up on any advice and get your hair done. <laughs> I, forgot, okay. I, I forgot earlier because the good thing too well back in the day because people know I used to be a celeb in Hollywood um <laughs> we've just been able to do a lot of different things we've done cancer stuff which is mm -hmm. right look good feel good ironwood charity we've been to comic-con we've done cool birthday parties with that actor guy from Hollywood we've mm -hmm. been doing photo shoots with our magazine friends we've had oh, for a long time a few, yeah. we've had quite a few entertainers we've done a lot of stuff in here we're not just all medical we've done a lot like i'll pan some pictures but do you remember what was that magazine that we did that was called quest right i think so that sounds familiar there's so many <laughs> like we don't uh, i'm pretty sure it was quest was the last the last one we had done because that's what I'm trying to tell a lot of people. Like back in the day, we've, we've had so many things that we were involved in and we just kind of honed in more into this more medical thing because a lot of our celebrity clients from Hollywood also have hair loss or what's called trichotillomania. And I wanted to tap on that because it's not just cancer, it's any type of medical issues kind of- Thyroid or but yeah, emotional. Talking about um, trick and I kind of want to cover that a little bit because you know obviously you don't have trick. So trick, trichotillomania is a-, a behavior focused disorder where people pick or pull their skin. Okay. And it's a lot of anxiety, 5G, gluten, all kinds of stuff. But do you remember that client we made the hair piece for? And I want to talk about that a yes. little bit. We had a lady take a class for me, come here from Canada. I think it was Canada. Um, do you remember? Mm -hmm. And I sometimes will fly people in to teach my students. If sometimes people resonate better with somebody else, cause I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> 
but we made a hair piece. And the point I'm trying to say is that girl, after we did that, I just kind of want to try and talk about it a lot because she cried for like six days. Do you remember the yes. girl, that girl, Lauren? And yes. I'll, I'll pan in some pictures because Rita's helped me with these support groups. So we had an emotional support group. Here we are. She is lupus. I had cancer. Mm -hmm. We're practically bald. We have no boyfriends and we have no help. And we have our scrawny cat and dog and we're trying to make a living. <laughs> but yet here comes this girl to us at 16 or 17. And I mean, it was probably the most, that kind of changed my life a little bit. Mm -hmm. So do you want to just kind of talk on that a little bit too? Well, I mean, clearly she flew to you because she did her research and she couldn't find anything like that um, right. in Canada. Tiki has a private studio, so you don't have to feel like, I know salons, more mainstream salons have a room for extensions, but you still have to walk through the main salon and everybody, oh, and then they see the before. And a lot of people, that's a lot of anxiety to even admit that you need a hair piece or that, you know, young people don't feel like they should ever have to have that, you know, but it's, it happens. And so again, we're a private studio. She Tiki's a private studio. Um, and so she was excited about that. And then the fact that, not only we had the the hair and the tools to help her, but we had the heart to understand what it what it's like emotionally for us both different ages to have gone through that and know what it feels like to not have hair. Or, right, and, and or the, big ticker, help. the big ticker with that, because I said to a lot of my, my clients, um, she was one of our celebs at Fly, so a lot of people will fly in to see me because the, the studio is like 2,000 square feet, but it's private. Like this whole place is just, one person at a time for a lot of reasons because I had cancer and I want to just focus on one person. I can't be Walmart Circle K. But what we're, the point is when she flew in to see us, we actually custom made her piece. And that's what I wanted to tell people. You know, I import hair from overseas. I do. I get a couple things, but we make a lot of our own stuff. And that's what I wanted. You didn't really get into that because you, oh, were, you got pregnant and left me. <laughs> She got pregnant and left me, and that's why I'm over here all alone. Um, all, all your hair, even, you know, the glam hair. It's all custom blended, custom colored, custom textured, you know. Um, People don't understand. They think that we, we, we do buy hair. We buy blonde, brown, red, and then her and I. We blend it. We blend it. We color it. We ombre, whatever. Yeah. Get our interns to do that all. Even permit for the texture. You need texture. Everything. Right. So you know, there isn't just five samples to choose from for the ring, you know, and right. so people are very overwhelmed and shocked and surprised about that, especially, you know, multiracial clients um, feeling that, oh no, these, I can't have these kind because they're not, you know, my kind of texture or, or what are they going to look like when they get wet or what is it going to, how is it going to blow dry, you know, and like your hair, like your real hair, because that's what, what kind of hair you get and what kind of hair you custom. So, yeah. Awesome. I just want to say thank you, Rita, for joining us today and being a superhero, follically challenged success story for my training. Um, like I'm trying to tell these viewers, there's a patent pending right now, and I actually haven't trained anybody in the last three years because I wanted to make sure this patent went through because now everything's a big craze, and I don't want my intellectual property stolen. It just took 35 years to figure this out. So pretty soon, everybody, we're going to be releasing the new tools. And um, I forgot to bring that up. So when I actually made my tool, and I don't want to talk a lot about this on video, um, but the tool was specific because her and I, I've been doing hair 35 years, you've 20, carpal tunnel issues, right? So when I specifically made the tool that I'm going to sell to you, the salon professionals, I don't have carpal tunnel. And I've been doing this for three decades. Mm -hmm. I ripped the fun. So remember that because when we were, when I was trying to patent the tools, you're like, oh my God, this tool's awesome. Like yep. my arms are. I couldn't find it anywhere. I remember I was like, cause I was still, you know, working on my, in my other salon and I'm like, oh, well I need one. And you're like, I only have this one. It's my patent. Don't drop it. <laughs> you know, but like, I'm like, well, there it can't be that different. You know, so I look and I'm like, it is different. And I would have to use something else when I was somewhere else and I'm like, this sucks. I could barely open my hand after a few, after 30 minutes, you know, it hurt or, get stuck, time, or would do something with the bead. You know? People do get that. Cause they talk about it. A lot of, a lot of hairdressers have, uh, I forget what's our shoulders start to go out after a while, you know, fortunately her and I, we sit because we're in the salon, we're private, but 
you know, a lot of these things that I'm doing are to be preventative. So even the tool itself, prevention, titanium, prevention, so you're not using all this metal stuff. Um, when we were talking about the hair, also the big thing with the training and what her and I do is we let people reuse the hair. So that's a very- mm -hmm. Oh, that's a big thing, big. So my hair is very expensive, but- It's an investment and it lasts- Uses three years, time. four years. Did you mm -hmm. have your hair for like four years? Almost five. I don't, like, I, I don't like saying that, but I'm just yeah. saying it could last. It gets shorter and you have to curl it. Yeah. So oh. sometimes you have to replace the bundle off, you know, at a time, but it lasts. Right. <laughs> and that's good because if it's getting shorter, that means your hair is getting longer. So there you have it. Yeah. The answer. That's what I'm going to say to everybody. Stop complaining. Your hair is grown. And then when it grows longer, they need to buy more bundles. Exactly. Exactly. All right, everybody. Well, hopefully you've learned some info. Her story will be in the new book called Follically Challenge. So remind reminder um follically challenges the book for all of my super hero success stories and wearers um and again thank you so much for joining us and thank sharing you. your story i know i miss and you it so really much. sucks that you live in florida i know but i like florida <laughs> i'm so sad <laughs> I'm not going to cry. So again, everybody, thank you so much. Make sure you check out hair.tk <clears throat> extension hair salons, which will be where you're listed on my community directory and our charity superheroes.org. And remember everybody get out there today, become your own superhero. Yeah. And it can happen. You can have your, your real hair. <laughs> Bye. Love Bye. You.